in the world of wine gadgets, there's only one that I think you need, and that's a corkscrew. But Adam's here with us today to show us two others that he thinks are worth the money. I would be a fool to argue that a corkscrew <laughs> is absolutely the most important thing. But if you're like me, when you travel, mm -hmm. you end up bringing home bottles of wine, bottles of olive oil, all kinds of heavy bottles. And that's why I consider myself to be something of an expert when it comes to cushioning bottles in laundry <laughs> and wedging them into a suitcase yep. and hoping for the best. I've done that. <laughs> sometimes it works out well, sometimes it works out wet, unfortunately. Using a wine travel bag that is designed for the purpose might be a better thing to do. <laughs> we have four of them here, the price range, was a lot. <laughs> what are you going scuba diving with this thing? <laughs> it's part wetsuit, part wine travel bag. So we had this lineup of four wine travel bags. The price range was $5 at a low to $28 at a high. One of them, as you can see, was made from big soft cushion neoprene. Three mm -hmm. of them were plastic with some sort of cushioning. What testers did is load them up with bottles of wine and they did three different abuse tests. They <laughs> dropped them from waist height. They packed them into suitcases and tossed them around like an angry baggage <laughs> handler. <laughs> and they rolled them down flights of stairs. Oh, that's awesome. Three of these bags, epic fails. We won't even talk about those. Really? One of them, this guy right here, did a really good job up until the last bottle. This is the $28 Vinny bag. It's designed like a sailor's dry bag. Mm -hmm. It's thick plastic. It's inflatable. It's about the size of a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. and it protected the bottle, kept them all intact until the very last drop. The bottle broke in the last drop, but because it's sealed, none of the liquid got out. Oh, so that's I consider good. that a success. So this is the $28 Vinny bag for traveling with <laughs> wine. Let's move down to these gizmos here. These are champagne savers. Because mm -hmm. what happens if you don't get through a whole bottle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, there must be people who need to save the rest of their bottle. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to have you taste from every single one of these bottles because we would be on the floor, but I will tell you that we had a lineup of six of these champagne savers. The price range was a low of $4.44 for that one. I know this one. To a high of $35, ah, if you can believe that. I also that. know this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ATK Special Method uh -huh. plastic wrap and a rubber band. The rubber band's getting fancy. I'll tell you how we tested these. We poured a glass and a half of champagne out of the bottle, we used the sealer on them, we refrigerated it, and every day we tasted the saved champagne against a bottle that had just been left open on the counter, against one that had been opened freshly, and against the ATK <laughs> patented <laughs> plastic wrap and rubber band method. My and kind of tasting, by the way. I will tell you, I actually want you to do a little champagne Ooh. tasting. Come with me, we have Don't two have glasses to twist for my you. Arm. See if you can tell the difference between the one that was just opened and the one that we saved for two days. Well, I can see different in the bubbles. There's more bubbles in this one than there are in this one. You have a sharp eye, Julia. Mm. Did I mention I used to work in a champagne house? I should have remembered that I was dealing with an expert here. Mm. It's pretty clear to me that this one was freshly open and this one's been sitting for a day or two. You are an expert, but you know, I've actually thought that was not It's bad really shape. good. There's still some bubbles and body in there. Exactly, and that one was saved with this guy here. This is the Cilio Champagne Bottle Saver. Cilio. It was $7.50. And I'll tell you, it was one tiny little thing that made it work so well. When you put it onto the bottle and seal it correctly, it makes a little tiny click so that you know it's affixed uh -huh. and the bottle is sealed. It was the only one of these that did that. So it was easy to put on and it gave you a little audible affirmation. So if you can't seem to finish your bottle of champagne, pick up one of these. A Cilio Champagne Bottle Sealer at about $7.50. And if you like to travel a lot and bring back bottles of wine or good olive oil, consider picking up a Vinny bag at about 28 bucks. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.